Greeting to all the students. Welcome to Global Online. And here we are uh, back with our next video for paper two, that is NTA UGC net paper two preparation for 2022 batch. And this is our lecture five uh, on unit three, that is management paper. And today we are going to understand the uh, lecture on organizational development change and OD interventions. So we have all the links in the description box. Earlier, we have completed two uh, units. Uh, two units as well as the third part that is four lectures uh, links are also given in the description box you can please check the description box and start preparing your well for your upcoming cycle uh, so that you can confidently attempt and go ahead with your paper two also so before we go ahead with paper two a small announcement regarding a global online app which, which is you know uh, given in front of you so this is the app which you can download from google play store uh, you can check that we have UGC net management paper two uh, lectures, which consist of complete video lectures, notes in PDF format, test series as in mock test. Uh, we have question answers uh, that is in the form of previous year question answers uh, with solution uh, and also the target dress preparation for paper two. But in case if you're exclusively taking paper two, you can go with paper one as free of cost and you can uh, start preparing for your paper two and paper one simultaneously with one uh, focus point. You can get in touch with the given WhatsApp number in case if you have any queries, any doubts or any concerns, you can get in touch and you can get it sorted out. So now, yes, let's start with the concept that is OB, uh, sorry, OD dev, that is nothing but organizational development. So now exactly what, uh, what do you mean by the term organization development? So organization development, the term organization development was first coined by Richard Beckett in the mid of 1950. Organizational development is, is an acronym. You can see the word which is same, uh, made up of two words, that is organization and development. So organization is nothing but a unit of people that is a social unit of people that is structured and managed to meet a need or to perceive the collective goals, that is the organizational collective goals. Whereas if we say the word development, it is systematically used uh, of scientific and technical knowledge, that is logical uh, or uh, concept, to meet the specific objectives or requirements. So in that case, when we combine this words, that is organization development, it is a plan effort to increase an organization's relevance and viability. It's a phase framework for change. And oftentimes a manager helps to lead this change. So we need to have an organization wherein the organization is, uh, you know, uh, talking about the change development and the manager is one who leads this. Then we have the concept of uh, meaning of OD that is nothing but a field of applied behavioral science which focuses on understanding of managing organizational change. So many a times we see that there is a change and this change has been resisted. So how to uh, manage this change in an organization? So it is in the form of applied science. And that's how the, that's how the meaning of OB, OD sorry, is framed. So OD is a systematic learning and development strategy which is intended to change on the basis of beliefs, the attitudes, the relevance of the values and structure of the current organization to absorb or to better use the technologies, market opportunities, and, and using the challenges and chaos. That is, means it, it, is, it is a full-fledged package of going with the development, but along with development, whatever type of uh, difficulties are there or whatever type of challenges are there, it tries to overcome those challenges. So if you see the definitions, there are a few definitions which I have quoted. So definition given by Middle East and HIT, it's nothing but a systematic um, it's a systematic process that is meant for change in order to bring it into the entire organization with effectiveness. So this will be helpful for you for some assertion and statement questions. Cummings and Hughes has said that it is an application of behavioral science, okay, in order to uh, ensure that there is a development, a reinforcement, or, or a motive by the way of motivational strategies, structures, process. Uh, just to ensure that the organization is improving with effectiveness. Next definition which we have is now given by, okay. yes, that is Benis, is nothing but an, again, organization development is a change, a complex educational strategy which is intended to change the belief system, the attitude, the values, 
the structure of the organization so that they can adapt the changes or you can you can say they can adapt the technologies the marketers and challenges uh, by dizzling rate of it change itself so if you see all the three definitions which have seen earlier and the definition right now the definition which is even uh, pending so you can see very well that you know every definition talks about organizational development is nothing but ensuring that the change happens okay first thing is that you should remember change happens and it happens with uh, you know a smoothness that means the change should not create any issues if it create issues it should be able to handle the issues at the same time it should if possible change the strategies change the uh, structures change the belief change the attitude but should make sure that the organization is improving and the change is happening if you talk about cummings and wally organization is a systematic application of the behavioral science uh, with re reinforcement i uh, i think this is yes this is just what we did now the same definition but given by another author so says that again there is a reinforcement but with the strategy with the structure with the process in order to improve the organization's effectiveness so the organization is you know coming up but that uh, change is bringing effect in the organization Next one we have is what are the objectives? So the basic objectives of OD is to increase the level of interpersonal trust among the employees, then to increase the level of satisfaction and commitment, to confront problems instead of neglecting them, to effectively manage the conflicts, to increase the cooperation among the employees, to increase the organizational problem solving, or to put in place the process that will improve the uh, preparation of the organization on the continuous basis so if you see it includes not only the relationship the level of satisfaction uh, problems also uh, conflicts to be managed cooperation among the employees uh, or to you know increase the organization analytical ability and that is also on continuous basis so basically od is working uh, nothing but means organization development is about developing the organization but not only ensuring that you know it only will focus on certain things which are good it also focuses on certain things which are not going well but also will have an uh, solution for that then next one we have is how the process of od works so yes first we need to identify the problem what is the problem an organization is facing or what exactly is wrong what exactly is going you know uh, not in the correct direction you need to whether it may be related to employees or it may, it may be related to department or it may be related to unit that has to be first sorted out then data collection uh, with reference to the problem data has to be collected what exactly the problem is and what exactly are the you know the the evidence so that data should be collected diagnosis will start once the data is collected after diagnosis now diagnosis gives you not only the cause but also remedy so the remedy will be planned it will be implemented and accordingly evaluation and feedback will be done just to ensure that whatever type of planning or whatever type of diagnosis was done was working well in the case of organization then we have a, a detailed ex description so let's go with this properly so problem identification is nothing but I, as i said aware awareness bringing an awareness about the problem which includes you know knowledge of the organizational problems but it, maybe it is related to growth it is related to employees it is related to use of resources or it is related to effectiveness so it can be any so that has to be first identified correctly relevant data has to be collected now that can happen with the help of personal interviews the observations or questionnaires diagnosis diagnosis with the help of current situation so what exactly is the limit what are the attitudes what are the assumptions what are the management practices to be taken so you can divide this diagnosis into uh, various steps so like for example structural analysis wherein you know uh, how the different parts of the organization functioning can be laid down Next, you need to find out the process analysis, how the system works out in the organization, how the decision making happens, how the communication takes place, how the groups are encouraged. So this also needs to be found out. Functional analysis, how the strategies, the performance, the results and the outcomes are on, on basis of what they have been listed. Domain analysis, which refers to the organization for diagnosis. Uh, so this this is all uh, be, with reference to what it is with reference to your uh, problems which can be given in the form of what in the form of diagnosis 
Then next one, which we have is planning and implementation. As I said, after diagnosis, we have the next phases, the planning and implementation. So that in order to you know, proceed further or in order to implement the change, and then we have an evaluation and a feedback, which will help us to give uh, identification that, okay, things are working well, things are working as they have been structured, as they have been planned, or as they have been implemented. So that all we will be able to get in the form of feedback. Then, so what, how this, oh, I mean to say, how this OD can become effective after, after understanding the problem, after giving a correct feedback, it will help the people to, you know, function better. Okay, it will be, uh, your employees will become a productive uh, source. It will help them to give the opportunity uh, for each organizational member as well as the organization to develop or to show the, or to fulfill the, you know, potential. So this is very, very important that uh, organization will be able to understand uh, and develop the potential at full, uh, in the full form. Uh, it will help to increase the effectiveness of the organization in the form of goals. So like whatever problems they are facing in order to achieve the goals can be worked out very well. Then it will help to create an environment which is, you know, uh, it, which, which is possible to find exciting and challenging work. So this is very, very uh, uh, important that whatever type of environment is created, it should be, you know, positive, it should be, uh, people should be happy to work. So that can be attempted with the help of OD. Uh, it will help to provide the opportunity in order to, you know, uh, the way the work is related, the organization or the environment is related. And it will help the person, uh, the human beings. It will teach the employees uh, as a person with a complex set of needs. And it means, you know, how to uh, overcome this. So this is all possible because of effectiveness of OD. Now, OD intervention. So we will understand what is intervention, what is the meaning of intervention, what are the assumptions, what are the factors, and what are the examples. So let's go ahead now with the next part. So OD intervention is basically uh, what? So they may be introduced as a change agent. Now, this change agent can be in the form of manager, it can be form of OD consultant, it can be in the form of leader who is a part of this improvement under OD, okay? And checks, you know, and make sure that the follow up, the, the process is in place and wherever necessary, you know, uh, gives his um, support or assistance. So it, it is something which can be, you know, a structured activity, which can be done on the basis of ex exercises, experimental exercises, questionnaires, attitude, survey, observation, interviews. Uh, it can happen, you know, it can happen even within the lunch meeting. So there are such instances in the organization where a small, small things, you know, small, small things can be turned into uh, effective ways. So that can be brought by the, uh, with the help of OD, OD intervention, that is organizational interventions. So every organization or every action here is for the improvement in which is brought by the change agent. Uh, secondly, we can say that, you know, there are many possible intervention strategies. Uh, so let's, let's, uh, I mean, to say to choose, like there are in, n number of intervention strategies, which can be choose from the given. So the interventions are nothing but the principal process, uh, sorry, the interventions are nothing but the learning process uh, in the action, like for example, you can say that, you know, they are the action uh, that is in the action in the stage of organization development. It is one of the action in the stage of organization development. Uh, secondly, uh, you can say that these activities, you know, they are uh, used either individually or they can be used in the combination to improve the organizational uh, performance so it brings effectiveness it helps to deal with the people either in the form of team groups or you know with the help of a relationship at the same time uh, they these these are the there are the interventions that focus on the tasks that is what people do uh, process how people do it or how they are doing it and they are being classified with the help of you know uh, mechanisms which can tend to emphasize like awareness feedback uh, cultural norms it helps to bring inter interaction it helps to uh, get communication in proper place sort sorts out the differences or in the form of conflicts and brings a very good atmosphere to work in now so factors that help the change agent so let's quickly have a look at these factors so a real need in the client system to change so yes it is very very important you know it is that an agent should be um, 
very helpful in bringing out uh, the organization development it's a genuine support which is required from the management you can also set an example by you know having a proper listening or a supporting behavior then you have a sound behavior in the in the way you know wherein the things work out in a positive way uh you can have a working knowledge um, of system theory uh, and this will help to make human beings rational self educate and take care of the things on their own uh, and help make i mean to say you can bring such type of improvement that in that after that you need to know just concentrate what they are doing rest all things are and they can become the self initiator so examples of od intervention which can be form of what you can do it in the form of team building you can do it in the form of a right coaching method large group interventions where you can work with a, a huge number of people uh, mentoring can be done and performance appraisal so these are the examples wherein you can you know show that interventions or the change actions are taken in order to make the things better yes now downsizing now when we say downsizing it is you know uh, when you are reducing the number of uh, you can say uh, the people uh, i mean to say there is a need maybe because you know just in order to have uh, things in place it is required though it is not seen in a positive way but uh, you need to concentrate on the best and need to make sure that the organization survives total quality management very very important you know in order to ensure that the quality is in place so it has to be taken care of so it can be done with the kaizen technique it can be done with the help of quality circles you can uh, ensure that effectiveness is brought in managing the quality and leadership development so leadership development wherein you again you can have a best action you can combine leadership development with coaching or proper mentoring in order to bring effectiveness in organization so there were two terms like for example we have studied so i'll just uh, uh, into not two more than two but some terms i have written down over here so it helps you to recall uh, restructuring if i say like you know uh, restructuring actually is redesigning but here you can do in order to make things effective you can reduce the number of employees or you remove the excess layers of management uh, and you can make the things easier rather than making it complex or hierarchical downsizing wherein workforce redundancy where, where you can go with attrition or retirement or you know uh, layoff on organization redesigning where you can eliminate certain functions or products merge the unit or redesign the task so this these are the some things which you can work out and make in order to make your organization more effective or make it you know uh, more uh, uh, action bring a such a type of change that things will be uh, done in a proper manner so yes Uh, that's all we have for OD interventions. Now, in the next class, we will be taking talent management and uh, skills as well as employee engagement. So we are doing that topics. So almost we are very close to complete our unit three also side by side. As I said, you have to ensure that you are practicing well. You are reading up the theory properly. You are reading up. Uh, you are practicing the MCQs. So this will help you to you know ensure that you are you are daily doing something on regular basis. So it may take time. Maybe if you have started your studies right now only, so it will take time. But you have to give some uh, some amount in order to you know get the things in streamline, and then you have to keep a continuity in order to make sure that the things are you know uh, done in a better way. So that's all. Next, see you in the next lecture.